Hey, um, I'm Connor Nichols. I'm one of the emergency medicine ultrasound faculty. I have Adarsh here. He's one of the um, medical students rotating on ultrasound. So we're going to do some pneumothorax ultrasounding. So pneumothorax, um, obviously you can do it as a separate exam um, or you can do it as part of the FAST called the E-FAST or extended FAST, which means we're looking at the lungs as part of that. So we usually use our linear probe. Again, this is the smaller linear one, but either one um, you can use the larger linear one as well, but um, you know we're not going very deep, so this is the highest resolution um, probe for the depth that we're going. So typically we go um, about the second intercostal space. You want your indicator probe, um, or I'm sorry, your, your indicator mark on the probe um, towards the patient's head, and you want to be in the um, second intercostal space, and you can slide kind of up and down until you see, you want to see a rib and then once you find the rib you want to slide it out of the center and center the pleural line which is going to be the first bright white line down from the rib shadow. So you want to center that pleural line between the ribs and hold it there and visualize on the screen the sliding. So you can see it's, people call it sliding or shimmering um, and it's the visceral and parietal pleura um, sliding together on each other um, that appears to be one line. Um, so once you do that, then you can drop the M mode. So normal lung, um, you're going to see what we call the seashore sign um, or beach sign, some people call it, where you see the motion at the bottom of the screen um, and then you see just lines across the top of the screen. So this is normal lung down here and then this is just the uh, superficial skin. So if he had a pneumothorax, we would see basically this all the way down. So, um, you know, we're going to start here, like we said, um, in about the second intercostal space. We'll um, uh, center our pleural line between the ribs and... Uh, Typically when somebody's supine, which is most trauma patients, they're going to be lying flat. So your most sensitive area is going to be here in the apex because air rises. So we'll look here and we'll look here. Um, you can go all the way down and you can go in the mid axillary line here. Um, if you see a pneumothorax, you may want to trace it down just to kind of um, get an idea of how large it is. Um, the larger the pneumothorax is, obviously the more areas that you're going to see it in and it's going to be tracing downward. Um, so, but you know, if we look here on our trauma patients and we don't see a pneumothorax, then we stop here and then we do the same thing on the other side. And you just want to make sure that you hold the probe very still um, and you're not shaking it around um, because you don't want to cause an artifact on the end mode. And on this side, you have the patient's heart, which is going to be beating, um, obviously. And so that's going to cause motion artifact as well. So you just want to make sure that you're not getting anything confused with that.